When a person talks to Allah, he does it only talk with what comes out of his mouth. Sometimes your behavior can also indicate a good or bad expression. For example, the way I look at you like this is a message. By the language of my behavior, I say that I don't want you here. Similarly, as on love, the call for prayer is being recited for the Fajr, the morning prayer. Hayal as salah Allah wants you to come to the prayer, but you, you don't go. What did you want to mean by the behavior? By the language of your behavior, you say that I am not coming, Allah. Zuhur time approaches, but no. You carry on working, Asr time. Asr time comes up and you don't still go. Maghrib time approaches, you say, by the language of your behavior, I am busy, I have so many things to do. Beware, dear friends, those are such a daring acts. So you say, oh Allah, I am not going to stand by you. Isha time, I'm not coming. In the morning, I'm not coming. Zuhur, I will not come. Why your boss fires you for minor reasons? If you insist on not doing the duty that he gives three times, four times, five times, you keep on not doing what your boss says. Just like this. If you insist on not doing the Creator's commands, what's going to happen, dear brothers? If you don't obey, if you don't fulfill His commands, this act is called rebellion. If you do not keep the commandments of a king, what happens? You will be called rebellious. Are you aware of against who we are rebelling? You can't rebel against your boss, but you do rebel against Allah. Don't you know that you are rebelling with your act of not obeying? You persist in the morning, I'm not coming, not going to pray, means that I don't care. I don't care. And then by time, and then you hear azan, you start not to care. You're not aware of the azan. It doesn't mean anything to you. Brother, just check yourself. Let's check ourselves. It is said that it's easy. We, don't, we just don't pray in this world. We're going to go to hell and then we will go to heaven. It will be a few years that we will be in hell. Is it that easy? Brother, not praying, not performing the salah is a major sin. Why salah is mentioned more than 70 times in the Quran? What is your act? I don't care. I have more important things to do. Dear Allah, there are more important things to do, more important than acts of salah and worship. And you keep on doing your work. By these acts, brother, you're being such an unscrupulous and ungrateful. So you say, oh Allah, I am willing to work for 12 hours for just $1,000. I can sell my soul to my boss to be rewarded by someone's money. But the eternal heaven, Jannah, I don't care about it. It's not in my field of interest. My interest is in money. Money. My boss gives me money, but Allah doesn't. Allah doesn't give me any money. I never received from Allah. Don't we express these by the language of our behavior? Ask it to your conscience. It's not necessary to actually say it by your mouth. You can say it by your behavior. Not going will express the same meaning with saying I am not going. So pay attention. Devil is in the detail. We have been deceived by devil. Otherwise, we all have a common sense, don't we? 12 hours for $1,000. On the other hand, one hour salah and eternal hell. Okay, yes, to 12 hours for 1,000, but sorry, I am not interested in one hour salah in a day and having an eternal heaven. Doesn't it sound foolish? We need to regain our consciousness. The devil has been deceiving us for a long time. It brought us to this situation. My dear brother, remember, remember the reality of death. Death does not die. The appointed hour is unknown. It may come at any time. It may come right now. Grave cannot be closed. People enter the grave constantly. Let me tell you what to do. Go home, dear brother. And today, you are going to break the back of the devil. Bring your prayer rug, lay it on the floor, raise your hands, just raise your hands to start. Raise your hands to say Allahu Akbar. Stop saying, no brother, I'm tired. I can't do this. I'm busy. I will do that later. Stop saying these reasons. I can't pray. I can't do that. How am I supposed to pray when I have so many sins? My dear brother, that's enough. That's enough. Come on, just lay it. Lay your prayer rock. How could one be such a fool? An eternal heaven. Listen, brother, 
The devil has been deceiving you for years. It's not me who says it. It's in the verse of Quran, commanding prayer. I'm not commanding. For the sake of Allah, straighten yourself out. Lay your prayer rack, no matter what you are in. Even if your mom and dad oppose it, even if the whole world will be against you, lay the prayer rack, raise your hands for your creator. Wave aside the world with your hands and stay focused, focused on Allah. Say Allahu Akbar, Allah, you are the greatest. Submit yourself to Allah. Prostrate yourself before Allah. You know, the Salah is essential, the mirage for a believer. It's a conversation between Allah and you. You have an appointment with Allah and the Isha prayer. Don't you want to communicate with Him? Come on. Lay the prayer rug, raise your hands, wave aside the world with your hands and fold your hands and say, My Lord, my heart is only satisfied when I remember you. Dear Allah, these worldly things do not satisfy my heart. Brother, pray to Allah. Say, Dear Allah, let me maintain the action of prayer. Make me walk in the right way, straight path. Your commandments, lay the prayer rug, whatever happens. Today is your day. Now, what is your answer to your Creator? No, I am not going to pray. Or yes, 